Namaste and welcome to day 12 of 30 days of AppRite. Today we are going to learn about email verification in AppRite and we'll look into how easily we can set up email verification. If you have not already, please set up SMTP service properly in your AppRite. We have discussed about that in the day 11. Once you uh, have properly set up SMTP and you are sure that emails are being delivered, you can successfully handle email verification. So whenever user signs up using email and password, their user is not verified by default. We can use this process to verify that user has entered the valid email address. So that later if they require, they can recover their password, reset their password using their email. So let us get started. I have made few modifications since the last episode. So I have added a profile page and in home app bar, I have added an icon that will navigate to the profile page and in profile page, I have a simple button that says verify email API service. Let us add a method that will initiate the verification email. Let's give the function verify email account dot create verification and here this URL should be the URL of the website that will handle the verification. So we'll also be creating a simple demo page that we can run locally in order to verify the email. So here I will redirect to So this is my website that will handle the email verification completion process. Now in profile dot dot, let us handle the email verification. Try aware verify email. So here, if email verification or sending verification email is passed, then we show that verification email is sent. We need to go back to our inbox and check our verification email. Otherwise, I'll just print the error in the console here. This should be it. Let me try sending. Let me save so that it reloads and let me try to send verify email. Okay, invalid URL. Ah, okay, let me make one more modification. So I'll be using my local AppRite setup for this because I have set up SMTP there properly. So this is my local local AppRite setup. So let me just hot restart. And then in order for verification process to start or in order to be able to send the verification email, the user session must be first created. So user must first log in as this is local setup, I can add here, set self signed. So in order to test this, create and sign up using a valid email ID. Here I'm using my email ID. Now if I go to my profile and tap verify email, I should get verification email sent. So the email is sent. Now before going on to email and clicking, I need to first set up my web page. So I need to set up this website in my computer. So let's see how we can set up this. Very simple. I only have a simple JavaScript file and a HTML file. So in the HTML file, 
I am using AppWrite SDK from CDN and then I have my app.js script and here I have a span with ID masses in order to show the response from server. And in app.js, I am setting up SDK with my endpoint and my project. In the email verification email that we receive, the URL will contain two parameters that is user ID and secret. This is what is used to complete the verification. And in order to complete the verification, we just need to call update verification with user ID and secret that we received from the URL. And once this process is complete, what I'm doing is I'm just logging the response. Then I am adding the response in the span and I am replacing the location or I'm redirecting to the verification success email. Let me remove this from error. So once the verification process is successful, I should be redirected to this URL. Now in our application, we need to handle this URL in order to redirect our user back to our application. So when the verification process is complete, we need to redirect back to our application and that can be done by handling this redirection URL or handling this scheme in our app. Let's see how we can do that. So in our application, let's go to Android manifest, Android app, Android manifest dot XML file. And here, similar to what we have set up a callback for web authentication, I can just copy this intent filter and add it to our main activity in our application. So here, and let me just call it app write callback and then the callback schemes scheme should be app write callback the project id is different for local here so i need to handle this callback once i change manifest i need to rebuild my application so let me quickly rebuild i can go here i can send the verification email again it's sent also, I'm running this process using VS Code Live Server. So you can install Live Server plugin and serve any static pages with Live Server. So I'm running this on port 5500. The IP that I'm using here is my computer IP so that I can access this URL from my mobile phone and I'll be redirected. I will complete the verification process and be redirected to my app. So let us go to our email. So let me go here. So I have new email from 30 days of upright project. Let me tap account verification. We can see the URL here. So the URL that we specified and the search param with user ID and the secret. So I can tap this verifying. And after successfully verifying, we are redirected back to our application. So this is how easily we can handle email verification in AppRide. And in the similar way, by making a simple website, you can handle password recovery as well. This is all for this episode. Read the official post so that you can learn more about email verification and a password resetting in web. So that will help you build a web application that is required for this tutorial. I hope this session was fruitful. Thank you for watching this tutorial and see you again in the next episode.